Hey everyone, I'm excited to be standing here in front of you today, giving you my version of the year that was Influx's 2022 wrap. I would be doing a disservice if I did not address what 2021 was, because I'm sure like it was for you, it was a very hard year in business for us. Now there is a particular point in memory for me from November last year, when I lost more than half of my leadership team. A memory that keeps coming back to haunt me through this fragrance that I purchased when I was in Dubai last year in November, like you probably know, fragrances tend to bear memories, good and bad, more often than not bad. And it continued to haunt me for a while. But the year of 2022 took care of all of that. And it's been a fantastic year. And I have each one of you, my clients and my beloved team to thank for the great year that it has been. The moment Jan 1 came around and the first Monday came around, things took a dramatically interesting turn. There was an exhibitor that we'd been courting for a while, one of the leading lights in the dine-in cinema space, who reached out to us and said they were ready to explore our solutions. Around the same time was also the dine-in cinema summit, where we were excited to participate down in Houston as one of the sponsors. And I also had the privilege of putting together a panel that spoke at the event. We came out of the dine-in cinema summit feeling super excited because it's always been a great event that's yielded great results for us. Moving on from then, in February, we ended up signing that client that reached out in Jan, and it was a great start to the year. I got on a plane to India for the first time since the pandemic. My team had grown significantly, and I was excited to meet them. We organized the first ever version of InTouch, which is our brand name for an in-person event. It was at a hotel, and we put up pictures on LinkedIn that a lot of you really appreciated and showed your love towards. And it was great meeting with them. And it was at this event that I chose to make certain very key promises, where as a company, there is a lot that I have wanted to do for my team that I haven't been able to because of you know, the times that have been for all of us in the past two years. The, co the turning point was expected to be this contract that was coming our way that we were very excited for. Come April, the contract didn't work out and I was definitely very disappointed as was the rest of my team. However, we knew we had it in us to keep marching forward the way we always have. And that's exactly what we did. We even managed to turn April around and make it a very memorable month where we had two members of our team from India fly out here, Jesu and Prateek, and we went up to Wisconsin to receive the Vendor of the Year Award from Marcus Theatres, our beloved partner. Just following that was, of course, CinemaCon. And at CinemaCon, we had a blast like some of you who came to our whiskey party might remember. At that event, we also managed to get some intense discussions going in our rather suave Bellagio suite, if I may say so myself. But having Amasios in the room, being able to sit down relaxed and have a conversation while showing our potential customers what we had to offer was very enriching. At the end of it, it also turned out to be the first ever CinemaCon that translated into some meaningful business for us. Then came summer and with June, came Top Gun. And boy, was that a game changer or not. It was phenomenal. Everybody was enthused, pumped and ready to go. We had a lot of those meetings actually convert into contracts and we were really excited and stoked. In fact, at the tail end of CinemaCon, we were introduced to a client that we have always admired. And I'm proud to say that we're now working with them. So it was a great CinemaCon, great summer. I think a summer that we all needed. We just needed that show of confidence. We wrapped up the summer in style as being the Good Times partner of CineShow. And it was a wonderful event. And for the first time, I felt that we had arrived. We were respected, we were accepted, and people reached out to us asking for our opinion, our advice, and I genuinely felt warmth and love. It wasn't hard feeling warm in Dallas in summer though, but that aside, it was a fabulous feeling. In September, I went back to India to meet my team again that had now grown again by at least 20 more people. We did another version of the In Touch event and we put up those pictures again on LinkedIn, which a lot of you have appreciated. And it's something that we've kind of made into a habit as we've grown our team over the next few months. As November came around, I promised my wife that things would finally start slowing down. But well, I guess I was wrong because in November, we announced Brett Hoffman joining our team. He's right here today directing me. Thank you for everything you do, Brett. I really appreciate you. And it's been amazing having him on our team. If Brett thought he was gonna ease into the team, 
That was far from the truth because both he and I got immediately cracking and working towards welcoming our newest member of the board and senior advisor, Rolando Rodriguez. We're excited to have him on our side as we discover new opportunities in related verticals to grow into next year. I've got to say, I stand here feeling very humbled. I'm very grateful for each and every one of your love and support. And I talk to you guys, the members of the community in the cinema industry, but more than anyone else, my team. I love you guys. I love each and every one of you and everything you've done for us. The fact that you've stood by me through times thick and thin, at times when you've sent me one-on-one -on -one messages saying that no matter what, you've got my back. I have shed a tear or two, but I'm just happy that we're here today where I'm able to fulfill my promises that I've made to you and fulfill the ambitions that you guys, that you've entrusted with me, the ambitions that you have that you've entrusted with me. I still look back at this bottle and what's funny is this bottle is actually called Deja Vu Nostalgia. It's by a private perfumer in Dubai. And guess what? I'm glad that I'm able to look back to it now with positive memories. I still hold on to this empty bottle because it means a lot to me. It reminds me of the tough times we've come through. It reminds me that while things are great now, we never know what the future might hold. But all I can say is, I appreciate your support, all your blessings, and your best wishes. I wish you and your family a wonderful holiday season and a very happy new year. Thank you.